You could be forgiven for assuming that the character Hua Mulan is fictitious. However, she is based on a real person, and the historical Mulan is even more gutsy than her film persona. The original telling of Mulan's story arose from a folk song of the ancient Chinese North Wei dynasty, which ruled from 386 to 557 AD. Called the Ballad of Mulan, its first known transcription came from the 6th century and appeared again during the late Ming Dynasty. In 1593, a playwright named Xu Wei dramatised the legend as a play in two acts, calling it the female Mulan, or the heroine Mulan goes to war in her father's place. The last, most significant retelling of the ballad was found in the Sui Tang Romance, a historical novel penned by Chu Renhuo in the 17th century. Through this continuous narrative, the folktale of the warrior woman Hua Mulan stayed alive in popular culture. The legend of Mulan has been recounted with many variations, but the storyline is always much the same. Mulan was watching clothes when she is told that the army is recruiting new soldiers, with every family required to provide a fighting man. With only a baby brother and to protect her old and ill father, Hua Mulan decided to present herself as his son. She disguised herself as a man and departed for the battlefield, bearing the sword inherited from her family's ancestors. Mulan fought for 10 or 12 years and received high merit, being promoted to general during the war. She also met an officer who is usually named Jin Yong, with whom she developed a strong bond, eventually disclosing her true identity to him. In many versions of the story, Mulan and Jin Yong dream of marrying each other. Some other soldiers also found out over time that Milan was a woman posing as a man. One day, before a very tough battle, Milan decided to go onto the battlefield in women's attire, and the reaction of her fellow soldiers was one of respect and admiration as she inspired her army to win yet another battle. After the valiant victory, the Emperor, shocked that his bravest soldier was a female, wanted to reward Milan. However, Milan asked for only a horse to ride home. Many variations of the story say that on her return home, she discovered that her father had passed away and she became a haunted soul, plagued by her memories of the violent battles and contemplating ending her life. The history of Milan is based on the factual invasion of a nomadic ethnic group called the Ruran into 4th and 5th century China. The wars with the so-called barbarian group raged on for more than three centuries, destroying many parts of the Chinese Empire, including the central government. During the terrible conflict, warriors needed a source of hope, and a woman soldier was a symbol who inspired soldiers to fight. In the ballad, Mulan battled the Ruran invaders from the north over 12 years, which culminated in an offer from the emperor to accept a government post. After declining the offer, Mulan retired to her village in the province of Hunan, shocking other soldiers when she finally revealed her true identity. Archaeological finds uncovered in the Mongolian steppe suggest that the ballad of the female warrior Mulan was possibly inspired by real Shanbei women who rode horseback and may also have used bows and arrows. Scientists have recently discovered ancient remains showing evidence that female warriors once rode across what is now Mongolia. Microscopic marks found on the shoulder bones of two early female warriors transcend the legendary Mulan from Eastern mythology into historical reality. The Shambay were an ancient cultural group who settled the Eastern Eurasian steppes in today's Mongolia, Inner Mongolia and Northeastern China. Originally nomadic, Shanbei creation myths tell that their ancestors emerged from a sacred cave. The Shanbei are thought to have migrated into northern China near the end of the 3rd century BC and joined a loose confederation of nomadic tribes during the Jin dynasty from 266 to 420 AD. Of three Shanbei women skeletons, two show indications of belonging to female warriors. Archaeologists Christine Lee and Yahaira Gonzalez drew this conclusion after studying marks left on the bones where the muscles were once attached. They were comparable to the distinctive marks on mounted warrior skeletons 
demonstrating that these two women also practiced archery. The Xian Bay skeletons contrasted with those of females from other clans in the region who had no signs of developed shoulder muscles and therefore did not practice archery. The researchers concluded that an expanded military role for some Xian Bay women may have reflected the increasing political instability and social cruelty which persisted for centuries after the collapse of China's Han Dynasty in 220 AD. Mulan's inspirational power lives on. Director of the recent feature film, Nikki Caro, made several research trips to China. Speaking with historians as well as ordinary people, she found that the story of Milan was deeply important for mainland Chinese and that all children are taught it. The message behind the ballad was so meaningful that many people claimed that Mulan came from their village. <laughs>